this is my warm, fuzzy place that, you know, the box of tissues are over there. This is probably one of the, the, the nicest dishes that I'll ever get to make for you and share with you. And you know that if I'm making pasta for you, I think you're pretty special. Oh, thanks, Richo. There we go. Oh, now, it's as nice as it will ever get with you. I, I love pasta. I might need the tissues. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now, I'm using pasta flour here, which is Tipo Double O. It is a really nice flour, really fine. So it makes a great strong dough. You can use plain flour if you want, but the Tipo Double O really makes a finishing pasta that is outstanding. Perfect. So I'll pop that over here. Now you can see I've got the uh, flour in the middle here mm. and I've measured it out. It is exactly 400 grams. Now I've got four eggs here, 400 grams of flour and four egg yolks. Now if you can grab those eggs there yes. and give them a bit of a crack in the middle. Yes. I'll crack a couple as well. And this was my job as a little boy. Okay. Cracking the eggs. You know what kids are like with eggs? Yes, I thought there might be more instructions. That's it. Just no, pop no, it in. just pop it straight How in. How interesting. So you want some white but not too much white. Exactly. You want okay. a lot of yolk and the white helps to give it an extra bit of protein to hold it together. Okay. Now you've got some extra virgin olive oil over there. Yes. If you can pick that up for me. Yes. And a little bit of salt. Just a little drop in the okay. centre. Okay, tiny bit. Tiny bit, that's it. A little bit more. Okay. That's it, that's it. About a teaspoon. Okay. Maybe a tablespoon. Pop yes. that over there. And a pinch of salt because we need to have salt in there. Now, you would think if I'm making pasta dough, I'd put it in a machine, bang it around. But this is how oh. we make pasta in the old country. Nice. And you can see just with a fork, we just mix it around. And what we do is we incorporate a little bit of the flour as we oh, bring it okay. around and do it nice and gently. Mm. And you try and do it so that you don't break the damn wall because the last thing yes. you want is the egg going yes. everywhere. Okay. It's just a matter of oh, bringing... so a gentle pour. Exactly. Yes, okay. How simple is this? And now I'm hoping that once you've seen me do it and seen how you know how emotional and how lovely this is that you might think about doing this at home with okay. your little toddlers. What do okay. you think? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, will. I just need you there for, for a little, you know, I need you to bring this nostalgic element. I mean, once you try it and the kids just say, can you make some more pasta, you please, Mum? You'll, you'll, you'll be making it. And you can see, and this is something that I'd say, you know, all the, all the chefs that I work with, they get in here and they need it like it's, you know, a big bit of dough. You can't think like that. You've got to oh. think like a little old nonna with gentle little hands, like little fairy hands, yes. bringing it together. That's what you've got to think like. I love it. I'm right here with you, my friend. Now, what I do is just gently put this together, and you can see it's really crumbly. Yes. And it looks like it's a little bit dry, but believe me, this recipe works every single okay. time. And as you knead it, you just bring in all these crumbs yes. and just push it down like this. Now, while I'm bringing this together, and it just comes together in a minute or so, ricotta cheese, pumpkin, Yes. Parmesan cheese and sage. A little pinch of salt and I want you to mix it all together and a little pinch of nutmeg okay. in there. And it comes together as quickly as that. How us. easy. Yeah. rolled out the pasta nice and thin. I've used a bit of semolina underneath it. Mm. It's like little ball bearings. It sort of stops the uh, pasta from sticking to it. And I've rolled it out so that I can just see my hand underneath it. And that's how I know it's okay. at the right thickness. So we're just going to get into it. And this is okay. how I do ravioli. Every family out there that comes from an Italian background will have their own way of doing okay. it. So this is our way this of doing it. Way, yeah. This is how you and I do the uh, do the ravioli. So I'm going to cut that in half there and just yes. slide that over here. And I'm just running my knife down the centre here mm. because we're going to make two lines of ravioli. Now, if you pass me the filling there with a little spoon in it, you can mm -hmm. see the semolina makes it yeah, really easy, easy to move. Around. Exactly. Nice. And what I do is I put a little bit of the filling here in this little spot here. We don't want too much filling. We want about, what's that, half a, ta half a yeah. tablespoon? Yeah. 
and we give it a little bit of space in between, like a dat. That's how you say it in Italian. Okay, yeah. Like a dat. That's how my that's how my nonna would say it. Like a dat. And then we've got our little brush of water. We're yes. gonna pull that out in a second. I'll okay, show you yes. how that is. Oh, you can get ready. I got excited. No, yeah. no, get excited. Okay. I want get you to excited. I want you to be ready. I want you okay. to have it all there. Was this I'll... your job with your nonna? I would do this. Okay. This I find is a really easy way for doing a oh. fair bit of it. You want a bit of water on there because yes. water makes it stick. Some people use egg, but I think water is probably be the best and then I grab the start of it here just the top here and I'll grab that and then bring it over and pinch it and then move it all the way down here like this right. okay you can do that last bit oh, there. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. Help so, out, I exactly. understand. Well, you've got to learn. This is how yes, I learned. okay. So you've got all these little pieces here and then mm. I just grab my little finger like that and see how this one's risen? Yes. And I just push it over here like oh my gosh, this. my a full technique here. This is a science. Oh, wow, there seriously is, yes. And this has been passed on through generation to generation to this yes. very moment where I get to pass it on to you. I believe my great, 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 great nonna was taught by one of the uh, Roman emperors, nonnas. Okay. And then I'll just cut through the middle here. Beautiful. This is really simple. Sometimes you can use a round cutter. You can use a little fluted cutter. But hey, we're just mucking around. Just two mates in the kitchen exactly. having a crack. Yep. And okay. I just grab it, make sure there's no little air bubbles in there okay. like that. Yes. And that's all you need to do. Beautiful. A couple of these ones. We'll do a couple more of these. And then once they're all done, I'll show you how to cook it. Ew. We're ready to go. The ravioli's on the plate there. Now, if you want to make this beforehand, you could put it on a cloth, dust it with flour, and then put the ravioli on there. Put them in the freezer if you want. Um, but there's nothing better than fresh mm. ravioli. Oh. Ready to go. Wow. Smash the okay. garlic with the palm of your hand if you like. The benefit of a big pour. Exactly. Yes. Or you can slice it nice and thin. My grandfather would do both ways. So okay. that's what we're doing. Into the pan it goes. Oh. I've got some prosciutto in there. Always prosciutto in our house. And this is the tail ends we would slice nice and fine, throw them into the pan, mm. and then for some extra flavour, we'd throw some butter in there as well because butter makes everything taste good and a good wad of butter just to okay. make it taste even better. All righty. In that goes and everything is ready to go. My water's boiling. A couple of leaves of sage, which is one of my favourite herbs, but do be careful of the sage because it is quite powerful. It is. That's sizzling away. That won't take long. You can do any sauce you want. This is a quick, simple sauce you can throw together. It's all about the ravioli. Now, pot of boiling water. In goes the salt, about as salty as the Mediterranean Sea. And then in goes the ravioli into the water. So I'll throw a few of these so raviolis in So you could have this here. frozen and then you could you could pop it into the water and it will be done really quickly if you're having hungry, you know, people are hungry, got to go. Exactly. But what one nonna would do is she would make ravioli all year, like, you know, in the months leading up to Christmas, she would make small batches, put them into the freezer and by the time we got to Christmas, she would have the full amount in there and then she would take it out, or my job is to take it out and cook it from frozen. You can see the pan mm. starting to go nice and nutty brown. That's what I'm looking at. And you can see the raviolis coming to the top. Mm. It's almost ready to put together. Okay. What I like to do is just give it a bit of a stir to make sure it's not stuck on the bottom. And a little trick, if your pasta or your sauce is starting to get a little bit burny, like it's starting to burn mm. and go a bit too fast, you can always ah. grab a bit of the water from the pot here. Yes and throw it straight in. Hear that Beautiful, sizzle? Yeah. It stops the butter from burning, it stops the prosciutto from going okay. black or the garlic from going too uh, caramelised and it just gets a little sauce going in the pan. Yeah, beautiful. You're loving that, I'm loving you? these little pro tips along the way. Oh, loving it. This, this is what pasta and Italian cooking is all about. You pass on the recipes and the dishes yes. from one person to another. Yes. And you can see it's already come to the top, so it's going to beautiful. take about another 30 seconds or so to cook. What I like to do is take it out of here at this oh. stage and pop it into the pan. Oh, so nice. Just for that last minute or Lovely. so, the ravioli starts to soak up the butter, the oil, the prosciutto. Yeah the sage and the garlic. Obviously, this is a family recipe that's been handed down. You could use olive oil instead, I guess. But look, 
Who am I to knock a family recipe? Never knock a nonna's cooking. They'd never ever do never that. Never would. Because you'd upset the whole villagers. Yeah, would, I wouldn't would, do it. The whole villagers I'm would come not alive. stupid. Here it's we a, go. Look at that. It's coming together mm. beautifully. You could chuck a handful of parsley in here if you wanted to, but you can see that beautiful butter Lovely. sauce. The ravioli is soaking everything up. I'm not going to waste any more time. Oh, good, because I've just... got a fork at the ready and I've got parmesan ready to go. All right, we're ready to pop it in there. Oh, in it, it goes. It smells so good. The it sage. Does, isn't it? You're right, though. The sage is a really quite a potent flavour. I've got it in my garden. I don't often use it. People use sage for evil, but I've taught oh. you how to use it for good. Do so they? feel free to hand me the sage at any time. Look at that. And Here we go. Of parmesan on top. Oh, yes, sorry. You must have. Did you see I was drawn to it? You must have put the cheese on, you know? Is that good? Well, yes, my job was to grate the cheese while the pasta was cooking okay, there. Beautiful. Just cut that in half like that, yes. and I'll just cut that in half for you. There Thank you go. You. Have a taste of that. Thank you. Richo, very kind. And I'm just going to grab mm. this other little piece here. Mm. That is very special. I feel very honoured to have shared that recipe with you. That is delicious. It's. Oh. It's simple and easy. Yeah. I know it seems like it's hard to make pasta, but I think we've put it together really, really well. And that's a warm, gentle gift, loving gift from me to you. Thank you, Richard.